I'm Andrew Murata, school leader here in Port Jervis, New York. I got to give a shout out to the Raiders. Uh, we're an hour and a half northwest of New York City. I've been a school leader here for 20 years. Uh, and George, right, we're proud of where we are. Uh, I'm so invested here. Our graduation rate used to be in the 60s. And we're in the 90s now, right, right, right at that 90 mark. And uh, great things are happening here. So I'm, I'm honored to be here and, and be part of the work uh, that, that's been happening. And through that journey, right, I've fallen in love with writing and presenting to other principals and helping others along the way. So it's been it's been a great journey. OK, so this this is the first question I'm going to ask. I'm going to see if you can share the secret. I don't know if you're going to keep this to everybody. So if you went from 60 to 90. What was like, what did you do? Like, what what did you do that that changed? Yeah. Let's, is this going to be the 24 hour podcast between me and you? Right. <laughs> yeah. Well, and that, you know, that's what I was, even that, what you just said kind of stuck in my mind. Cause a lot of times people want to attribute a change like that to, we did this one thing yeah, and then everything changed, but probably it's a combination of multiple things, but then it's also harder to quantify how, what percentage of those multiple things you did led to it. Right. Like I think about that all the time. Cause it's like, you don't, you don't know this one thing was the ultimate change. If you're doing, especially if you're doing four or five things in a district to improve stuff. So like, so like, if you can even think of two or three things that helped you on that, cause I know it'd be, you know, probably you couldn't say all of the things, all the ways your district came together, all the ways you're, you know, teachers really kind of implemented things and, you know, did them, did them really well. So what, what would you kind of say stuck out to you? Well, and I love listening to your work, George, and you're so well read and you, your memory of remembering what people said, what, uh, so in your style, I'm going to tell a little story. Malcolm Gladwell did a Ted talk called choice, happiness, and spaghetti sauce. Right. And, and the, in the talk, uh, Howard Moskowitz wanted to come up with the best spaghetti sauce for the company. Right. And he did all this work and all this research. And in the in the talk, Malcolm Gladwell shares that there is no perfect spaghetti sauce. Right. It's variety. Right. Some people like chunky. Some people like spicy. Some people like uh, marinara. Right. And it's the same in schools. There's no one perfect thing. There's no one perfect. Um, and it's, you know, like you just said, all of those good things moving forward uh, together. The first thing, the most important is that we cleaned up the place, George. They used to allow smoking. There was smoking everywhere. The bathrooms were smoke. It was, things were dirty. They were dingy. Think about the world we live in today. You go to an Airbnb or you go to a restaurant. If the front foyer is dirty, people are going to turn around. You know, people are going to, uh, you know, so we really cleaned up the place or hallways. Uh, use the word relentless before. If I saw graffiti, I, mean, it, it, I was I was wiping it off, but my my director of buildings and grounds was getting mad at me that I led the district in work orders because I wasn't tolerating, you know, that that lesser uh, thing. Um, and then really uh, caring, right? What is an organic way so the kids know that that we care? Uh, 